Hello beautiful one, Jane here from jennyandteddy.com Welcome back to another tutorial. This one we are going to make the summer white um, tank top and they are beginner friendly as always. All you need is just um, half double crochet stitch and you can also get the free writing pattern on my blog with a step-by-step -step detail photo tutorial the size available from size small to extra large i will put the link in the description below you can also follow me on the instagram to see the new pattern update and the basic construction of the top we will make a two identical panel front and the back and then we will um, um, join them together on the side by sewing using the yarn needle with your favorite sewing method and then after we finish sewing on the side already we will um, sewing on the top of the strap and that all we done let's get started So what you will need is a crochet hook size, 4mm crochet hook, yarn needle, stitch marker, I think we probably need about 4 or 5, a pair of scissors, measuring tape, and the yarn that I use is a DK weight yarn. You can use any kind of a DK weight, a plant fiber, uh, acrylic or a polyester, that will be fine, just DK weight yarn. Let's get started. Now we are talking about the construction of the top. We will start with the foundation chain of the... The foundation chain is to be like this. It will be the length of your top. And then we will start to do um, increasing for the top and then go here to the strap and then decreasing for the arm like this so we will make half of the top on the side first and then we will do the same repeat the same process for the other half something like this and we will start to do on the next together so in this example side will be fit size small to medium the other side I will put in the link in the description below to get a free writing pattern on my blog and the foundation chain it will be the same for all sides because it will be the length of your crop top here the foundation chain so we will, we will start with a slip knot and then chain 40 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so if you want your crop top to be a full length top you can add more chain like maybe 50 chain or 60 chain something like that and this one the foundation chain of 40 chain is not including the strap that you see on the model wearing it so I will meet you at um, 40 chain and we will measure the length of 40 chain together so now I finished um, 40 chain already, 40 chain. Uh, I will measure up my chain. My chain would be about, um, about nearly 10 inch. So if you get between from 9 to 11 inch for 40 chain, that will be fine because we have a different um, crochet stitch tension some people crochet loose some people crochet tight 
So if you get between from 9 to 11 inch, that's okay for 40 chain because it's just the length for your top. And if you want more um, the top to be longer, just add more chain, maybe um, 50 chain, something like that. And we will start on row 1. On row 1, we will do um, half double crochet in each chain across until the end of the row. Just making one half double crochet in each chain across. And don't forget to put your stitch marker, the first stitch that you just made because it will make your um, top to be nice and so neat for the adding. So I put it here for the first stitch I just made and we will keep going making one half double crochet in each chain across and I will meet you at the end of the row here. Now we are at the end of row 1 that we just do half double crochet in each chain across. At the end, we chain 1, turn your work. Remember this is for size small to medium. Fit the bust size up to I think um, 36 inch. And on um, row 2, we will do half double crochet in each stitch across. One, just one half double crochet. And remember, don't forget to put your stitch marker on the first stitch that you just made. So you can have a nice um, neat adding every time. So keep making one half double crochet in each stitch across until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of row 2 here. Now I am at the end of row 2 that we do one half double crochet in back loop only. So we will get a uh, beautiful ripping and at the end of row 2 we chain 1 and turn and we will start row 3 the same. Row 3 we make a uh, 1 half double crochet in each stitch across and don't forget to move your stitch marker to the first stitch that you just made. So we will keep making one half double crochet in back loop only until the end of the row on row 3. At the end of row 3, in the last stitch, we will make um, two half double crochet in the last stitch because we will start to do increasing the making the, um, the neckline, the U neckline, something like this. So, at the end of row 3, I, I will meet you at the end of row 3 and on the last stitch we will make 2 half double crochet together here. Yeah. Now we are at the end of row 3, on the last stitch we will making 2 half double crochet. 1 half and 2 half double crochet. Because we will start to do um, increasing for the neck line. On row 4, we will do increasing only on one side, the, the other side here. We are not increasing, we will keep straight. We only increasing on one side to be your neck line. So on row 4, at the end of row 3, we chain 1 and turn. On row 4, 
we will um, keep increasing by making two half double crochet in the first stitch one and two in back loop and then um, put your stitch marker on the first stitch that you just made so we will have the um, beautiful adding and the rest will be only one half double crochet in back loop so we will keep repeat the same process on the um on only one side here we will keep increasing if you are on the last stitch here you're making two half double crochet and when you um on the new row and on this side you will make two half double crochet for increasing row after row until um we are uh, at the end of row 9 so um, keep increasing until you are at the end of row 9 increasing here until we are at the end of row 9 and then we will do the strap together I will meet you when I am at the end of row 9 and if you um don't um, understand or confuse what I say. Please go to get a free writing pattern on my blog that you make uh, more sense if you like. And I have a photo tutorial as well for this pattern. So I will meet you at the end of row 9. Just keep increasing here. Now I am at the end of row 9. I will count with you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. On the last stitch, we do the same. We do increasing by making half, two half double crochet in back loop on the last stitch. One half and two half. And then we will chain six to make the step one, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain six and row ten and row eleven. We will stop increasing. We will just do um, half double crochet in back loop in each stitch across including the chain so on row 10 make half double crochet in each chain one half double crochet one half double crochet so we made three already don't forget to put your stitch marker in on the first stitch that you just made and then make one half double crochet in each chain making so when you are at the stitch here we making one half double crochet in back loop and then we will keep going making one half double crochet in back loop in each stitch across until the end of the row at the end we chain one and turn and um, this one will be row 10 and row 11 we do the same just one half double crochet in back loop no increasing and I will meet you at the end of row 11 we will cut the yarn off I mean we will fasten off and we will start to do decreasing for the arm hole so we will um, choose a tape measuring 
it will be from the strap the strap will be about one one inch and it will be from the strap about four inch four in from the strap so at four in you will put the stitch marker in here and we will join the yarn at this stitch marker and so don't forget to count the stitch from the strap to the stitch marker so you will um, do the same for the other side the other part to complete the top so I will count to show you so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 so you will um, put a note on it that um, is 14 stitch that equal to about um, 4 inch and you will do the same for the the second part of the top to complete the top on the other part so in here from top to the this um, stitch marker is 4 inch and and it will be for the the same for all sides it will be 4 inch and then we will join the new yarn on row 12 this will be row 12 join the new yarn then turn your work This row we will just do half double crochet in back loop. We not do increasing yet. We do we will do on the next row. So we do half double crochet in back loop. One half double crochet in back loop in each stitch across. Don't forget to put your stitch marker where you start on the first stitch that we just made. So one half double crochet in back loop until the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain one and turn and do one half double crochet in back loop. And on this, on the row. 13 we will start to do decreasing together um, I will meet you at the end of row 13 so we do row 12 here just half double crochet in back loop at the end chain 1 and turn on row 13 half double crochet in back loop and then at the last at the end of row um, 13 Wait for me that I will um, decreasing together with you. Or if you don't want to wait, you can go to get a free writing pattern on my blog. That will be good support. Okay, I will meet you at the end of row 13. Now we are at the end of row thir um, 13. We will start to do decreasing. We will do half double crochet decrease. So we have two stitch left, one and two here. So we do. Um, so we crochet two stitch to become one. So yarn over. So you crochet hook, pull the yarn. And so you crochet hook, pull the yarn. Grab the yarn, pull all four loops. So now we're decreasing. 
and then on um, row 14 we will do decrease only one side on this side only decreasing here and on this side we not decrease we just keep it um, straight forward this one we do decreasing in a slope for the arm and on um, row 14 we will do decreasing we will do decreasing on only this side so chain one turn your work and now we will do decreasing on the first two stitch in back loop pull the yarn so your crochet hook pull the yarn grab the yarn pull all four loop now we decrease one stitch already and then the rest we will just do half double crochet in back loop and um, move your stitch marker for the first stitch that we just made here so just make half double crochet in back loop all the way until the end of the row at the end chain one and turn and do half double crochet in back loop when you are at the arm you will be decreasing and do repeat this decrease one stitch until um, you are at the end of row 20 so decrease until you are at the end of row 20 and I will meet you at the end of row 20 just decrease this one we're not decreasing we keep it stretch meet you at the end of row 20 now i am at the end of row um 20 i will count together for you so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty when you are at the end of row 20 we will do one more row so at the end of row 20 we will chain one and turn and make one half double crochet in back loop on row 21 we not do decreasing anymore we just do just one half double crochet in back loop all the way making one half double crochet in back loop Don't forget to move your stitch marker on the first um, stitch that you just made. And I will meet you at the end of row 21. Now I am at the end of row 21. We will cut the yarn tail off. I mean we will do a fasten off and leave long tail for sewing. fasten off and now we finished half of the top already hang on I will um, move the camera uh, we will finish half of the top already and we will do the same for the other half and I will show you how I enjoy the to start the other half on the next clip now we finish the first half of the top this is the armhole and this is the neck line and we will do the same repeat the same process from row 1 to row um, 21 for the other half, I just show you how I join. We will join at the bottom part so it will be matching the row when we crocheting. So just join the new yarn. 
chain one and make half double crochet in each stitch because this one we can't um, really see the back loop we just do half double crochet in each stitch that will be fine and don't forget to put your stitch marker in on the first stitch that we just made yeah keep making one half double crochet in each um, stitch until the end of the row this will be um, row one of the other half and you will repeat row two to row 21 and for my tip when I um, how do I not miss the row I will just um, need um, three more three more of the um, stitch I will put a uh, one stitch on the third row here one stitch on the third row that we just joining creating one here yeah, so we will we will always know which one is the first row so we will repeat the same for um row one to row 21 for the other half and i will meet you there when i finish the other half of the top um now i finish the other half of the top already my top would be about um, 16 inch wide and about um, 14 inch long including the staff and we will do all the same process for the back panel of the top and I will meet you there we will do assemble together now I finished the back panel already they are exactly the same and on the next one we will do um, sewing assemble together just sewing on the side and the top for the strap using the yarn needle I'm use the yarn needle to sewing on the side Um, now I finish on one side and we will do on the other side here and I will meet you there now we are going to sewing on the strap just use the yarn needle the easy one And that's all we done. We can tidy up later. I mean, I will tidy up later. And I did on the other side already. And that's all we done for the top. Um, I think I will finish it from here. But if you want um, to make the neckline look more pretty, you can add... Um, simple single crochet for one or two row around here around the neckline and around the armhole for the armhole um, you can add single crochet around and you don't forget to count the stitch as well for the armhole so you can get the exactly the same size for the other armhole 
I mean, for example, if you got a stitch count on this one, 60 stitch, you will do the same for the 60 stitch for the other armhole. So, um, you can do like single crochet around, maybe one or two round, the same as the neckline to make, um, to make the top more, um, um, pretty or something like that, but I'm lazy. You can do more. Or you can do single crochet in back loop just for the neckline and for the armhole. Um, something like that. It depends on your um, creative. You can use any crochet stitch you like for the armhole um, and for the neckline. But I will stop it from now, and that's all we done. I hope you go enjoy the tutorial and thank you so much for watching. If you make one, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creation. Bye!